Hi Aquarius, thank you for joining. And this is going to be your weekly love reading. It looks like the reading, I already have some energy and some cards out here. There's a masculine involved in a situation. Spirit wants to talk about a divine masculine. It's someone in the emperor energy. It could be a male or a female. Okay, so this situation could be about you or it could be about a masculine in your life. Okay, or it could even be somebody you're not speaking with. I don't know. You, you will know what the situation is better than I would, but... Something is ending in this masculine's life and this masculine is leaving. <clears throat> this masculine is leaving somewhere. Something is over. Something is ended. Either someone, this person's not happy about it. Okay. There's a need to walk away from a situation. The masculine knows that that is what is necessary, but they are unhappy with why they have to do this or they are maybe in disbelief that they have to do it. They're just not happy about it. The world card is here, okay? It's almost like maybe this person didn't learn their lesson. For some of y'all, this person didn't learn their lesson, okay? With the hair font, because this came out as a challenge <clears throat> next to the world card. And this emperor is looking over at this life lesson. This, this, this emperor is learning a valuable lesson here, okay? They know they got to walk away from something, but they're not happy about it. Nine of cups in reverse. Especially with this page of wands in reverse here. For some of y'all, this could be bad news. For others of you, it's just this person's not happy that, that something is over. Okay? So let's get some more energy out here and see what this is about. <clears throat> Show me more here. Yeah, something is over. Three of wands in reverse. Whatever this is, it's not working. It's not growing. It, there's nothing good here. There is nothing good coming from the situation. So this emperor is realizing that. <clears throat> yeah, five of wands. You know what I'm saying? Like there is some conflict somewhere in this masculine's life. This masculine could be tired of conflict and he's just fed up and ready to walk away from something. <clears throat> This Queen of Pentacles just flew out on top of this Five of Wands. So that's telling me this Queen of Pentacles towards the Virgo Capricorn energy. They don't have to be an Earth sign, okay? We do have the Emperor here that is, um, I almost said Taurus energy. So somebody could be a Taurus in this situation, but that's Aries energy with the Emperor. Taurus is also here already with the Hierophant, okay? And the World card is definitely energy of a fixed sign, including Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, okay? There's a lot of fussing and fighting going on between a, a queen of pentacles and an emperor. So this could be a married couple or a couple that has some form of history together. This could be somebody's mother for some of y'all. This could be the mother of someone's children. This queen of pentacles is the one who's causing this drama. At least that's how this masculine is looking at this. That's what they believe. Yeah, I'm telling you somebody's not happy here. Six of cups. Six of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Cups in reverse. Just there's no happiness here. <clears throat> yeah. And this, they've been unhappy for a long time with this Nine of Pentacles falling underneath this Three of Wands. There's no growth. There's no expansion. Somebody's been putting effort and energy into something that's just not working. And it honestly wasn't meant to work here. That's why the World card and the Hierophant is here. This involves a lesson. <clears throat> Somebody was supposed to have learned a lesson a long time ago and they did not learn that lesson. Somebody here could be really immature with this page of wands being here in reverse, the six of cups in reverse. Something could have something to do with a child also or family or kids or something also here too. Somebody could be finding out someone is not their kid. That's not for everybody here. <clears throat> Show me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Three of Cups just came out challenging. It came out crossing and it, and the, the re, and it fell on top of this Eight of Cups and this Five of Wands. So that tells me third party. Either it's third party or some people who were gossiping who are in somebody's business. This Queen of Pentacles may have put other people in the, in this situation or in the business. It could be gossip, lies, 
a group of people is definitely involved in a group of I feel like this Queen of Pentacles has a lot of people, more people involved that need to be involved. Show me more about this Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah, Justice. Libra energy. The justice is uh, the justice came out crossing too. And it fell on top of this world card, which tells me the justice is it's been difficult for this to be to end. For this for this emperor, for this masculine. But the justice is an ending. You know? Somebody's getting karma. Show me more here about this Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Mm. <clears throat> Two of Pentacles. Wanted to come out in reverse with the Magician Gemini energy. Somebody here tried to, and the Queen of Swords. Somebody here may have forged some documents. <clears throat> Or something. I don't know what that's about. It's like somebody was doing everything they could to juggle a situation and or keep maintain control over a situation. This this Queen of Pentacles juggled so much so and and lied or forged something to the point where Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. The truth then came out. The truth has come out. Either about something being juggled, a third party, a child, or something of that matter. I feel like this person did everything they could to keep the truth from coming out for as long as they possibly did. And the truth finally came out. Yeah, the truth came out. It was revealed. Thank you, Spirit. Sun card, Leo energy. This was revealed. Hmm. Now, flip and switch the roles. This could be a feminine dealing with a masculine. And, you know, but I truly feel like the news that this emperor is receiving either way is not going to be good. They're not going to be happy. It's definitely going to cause this masculine to walk away from a situation and say, no, I'm done. I cannot do this anymore. Or, you know, they're leaving a situation for some of y'all connection with somebody here. And it may involve children. <clears throat> mm. something was made publicly the six of wands just came out somebody could have even gone to jail with this eight of swords here or this or this whatever somebody did they're in deep regret over it okay they wish they hadn't done it with this five of cups <laughs> so what did this person do give us more about that information please King of Cups is here. So now we have two masculines. Or could this could be... Let's get more information first. Whoa. Yeah, this is involving something happening at a home. I'm telling you. At somebody's house or someone's home. The police could have came to this person's home. The police may have been called. Or the police are going to be called. Or this could have already happened or will be happening. Something is about to be made public. Six of Wands. Somebody's business is about to be out in the streets. So yeah, jail. Somebody could have been taken to jail with this chariot card. Look at that. This is a victim card right here. Nine of Wands is a victim. Somebody's scared and they don't want to go to jail. There goes this emperor. I mean, I'm sorry, the empress, Taurus energy. Look at this. Ten of Swords, Six of Swords, this Empress. Whew. What did this feminine do? What did this feminine do? Ten of Pentacles. What did this feminine do? This is definitely a family situation. This person's in regret over forging some form of document or something. <clears throat> Somebody could be losing a home here. Somebody could be losing money. What did this feminine do? Yeah, they may have forged some legal documents or something. I'm telling you, this truth is getting ready to come out. Look at this Ace of Swords, the 
death card and the ace of wands. Whew. Show me those five of cups, please. Judgment. I feel like the police are getting called, you guys. That's Scorpio energy. Uh-oh. The devil card in reverse. Capricorn. Capricorn energy out here with the devil card in reverse, okay? I feel like somebody's detaching. Somebody's making a decision call to just detach from themselves from this situation. Somebody is in regret over some money. Because this Ace of Pentacles just fell on top of this Five of Cups. I'm telling you, whatever this person did when it comes to either forging something, money, somebody is going to jail, somebody's getting caught, somebody's going away, something is, whatever somebody was doing may have been working back in the day, but it's not working anymore. It's not working anymore. Somebody had to make it, is might be having to make a public apology for something. Because whatever's coming out will be made public. Hmm. Show me one more here. Okay, I got two Queen of Cups and the Eight of Wands. All right, so now we have the King of Cups is out here. Queen of Cups is out here. I feel like this is involving multiple people here. Somebody may want to communicate with a water sign. They don't have to. Someone wants to communicate to somebody or reconcile with somebody that is not toxic. The devil card in reverse and the Queen of Cups upright is, is someone who's very kind, loving, nurturing, caring. Um, you know, show me this eight of wands energy. But this, 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 uh, something's getting ready to come out. See, here's the deal. There, somebody's trying to communicate with the Queen of Cups, but they're not able to communicate with this Queen of Cups because this Queen of Cups has their back turned to this Eight of Wands. Okay, so we have Three of Swords in reverse, Libra energy, and Pisces energy with the High Priestess. <sighs> whatever the secrets are, whatever the secret is that's coming out, you guys. Man, I'm telling you, it's coming out. It's about to be made public. People are about to be talking. Page of Swords with the Tower card. If you're if you're single and you're waiting on a love connection, this is random and like I'm not sure how this fits into the equation, but I feel like there's somebody here who's single. They've been waiting on their Two of Cups. Because we have the Two of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the somebody's been healing Sagittarius energy with temperance, right? I'm looking at the bottom of the deck. The Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody here has been like stacking up their money. They've been healing, you know, they've been living their life, trying to make better choices, which could be this Queen of Cups, you know, uh, energy here. They're single. They're looking for their, their, their person, right? They're in good energy. This Queen of Cups is in good energy. So this is, could be you. Um, and this other situation could be your masculine or, you know, flip and switch where you go in this situation. But there's a queen of cups who I feel like doesn't really have anything to do with this. So what's this page of swords? <laughs> Whatever came to light, I'm telling you, is really fucking everybody up and including this, excuse my language, including this masculine and this queen of pentacles too. Why is the Page of Swords here? Give me more information. Page of Swords. Yeah, I'm telling you, four, four cups to spell on top of the Ace of Pentacles. Give me one more for Page of Swords. This is somebody here who Ace of Cups to spell all the way over here where nothing was. Somebody... Is upset that somebody wants you collective. If you resonate as this Queen of Cups, someone here knows that their person wants you and they're still holding on to you, Four of Pentacles. 
and they're stressed out about this, or your person is stressed out about this. Wow. Jeez. Let me pull from this deck and see what comes out real quick. Because that's a lot of drama. All right. What else here for the collective when it comes to this situation? Yeah, I told you money has something to do with this. Finances. Thank you, spirit. It definitely does. And it money, sex, lies, drugs, whatever else. Like, it's just not looking good over there. Look at this. Strictly sexual and finances. Somebody here could have been using money to, like, somebody forge something. I don't know. And, look, the world is already out here, right? Fate. It was, it, it was, something was supposed to happen. Some of y'all, this is a twin flame here dealing with a whole nother situation. Mm. Twin flame came back out again when I put it back in the deck. Spirit say, no, you're going to take that card. Children are definitely involved in this situation. I'm telling y'all. Yeah. Interference. A third party is interfering in this. I'm telling you, that's what this is. So, I, hold on. Let me pull from this deck. Mm-hmm. It's a secret about to come out about some kids and some money. And somebody sleeping with somebody else. I don't... Show me more here about the situation. Some of y'all are dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius here. This person, um, there is a third party here who wants to be like you. They're, they, your divine masculine, let me explain something to you. Your divine masculine, this is about this divine masculine. That's why spirit got me doing this reading. This divine masculine sees you in this empress energy this, as this queen of cups, double in reverse. They see you bossing up, minding your business. That was that nine of pentacles energy, seven of pentacles and temperance energy, healing, waiting, working on yourself, doing, you know, living an abundant life, being independent, waiting for your two of cups, or maybe you're already with somebody else and you found your two of cups. But this, this masculine here sees you as somebody here who is a trendsetter. You have, a, you're right in your, you just, you just set the tone. And there's somebody out here who's like, doesn't measure up to you that this person is dealing with. This person may be watching you and hating on you, but the thing is, collective, they they look up to you too. You The, the karmic and the masculine look up to you. They like how you walk, how you talk, how you behave. They may be trying to copy some of your work. Make sure you're paying attention to who. You know, look on the top of the deck says big mad, very, tri very triggered, mad about you or a situation. And broke too. Not only are they mad, but they broke. They don't have any money. I'm telling you, somebody was out here either forging documents, paperwork, something. Maybe they had a little money. They don't have it now. They don't have it now. Marriage in reverse. Falling apart for some of y'all who's married. Y'all shady. Shady. Just suspicious, questionable. Somebody's ass is going to go, go get caught going to jail. The authorities is coming to get somebody. The chariot card is here. The hair font came out crossing. Okay, the justice card is here. Like, the high priest is in reverse is here. The sun card is here down. And again, people is over here sleeping and with, with other people and all kind of other stuff and like definitely sex lies money and videotape and shit like taking shortcuts they're lazy like i said taking shortcuts they were forging some documents and not doing something or forging something copying somebody's work doing something making a living off of doing something shady for some of y'all this person could be a prostitute okay somebody could be selling their body i don't know i hope I, I, i'm just saying whatever it is somebody's doing for money it ain't right it ain't right What else?
not in this disappointment. Things ain't going in their favor anymore. They can't get away with this anymore. Because they were a trickster. Now they sit in this four of cups, five of cups, eight of swords energy, probably about to take their ass to jail. About to, they may have been picked up unexpectedly and caught unexpectedly too. I'm telling you, this person's stressed out. Somebody's stressed out. Child, look at this cycle. Hold on, I dropped the card. Okay. The drama tonight. Yeah, drama high key. Somebody loves attention. Something somebody there was something went on. Yep. Big man is back at the bottom of the deck. There was a fight. Somebody went to jail. Something was made public. I don't I don't know how else to say this. You got new love coming in. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, this person might want to come towards you. Head straight towards you, maybe. I don't know. But I don't know why we had to talk about this tonight. But you could be dealing with anybody here. You could be dealing with a air sign. Taurus, Libra, strong Libra, Pisces, Gemini, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be your reading. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if it resonates for you. 